Moving on to the game room, which is where I spend most of my, my time actually. And you can see we got some posters on the wall here. Some of these are my parents, some of these are mine. We got Raiders of the Lost Ark, Goldfinger, Saturday Night Fever. We've got this really cool Super Mario Sunshine poster that came with a Versus Books guide. Um, yep, that book really came in handy when I was a kid, so and it came with a poster too, so that was really nice. Um, I'm going to save this game wall for last because it's the biggest part. So um, here is some box DS games. We've got some boxed DVD seasons and uh, movies that were in boxes that were too big for the other DVD shelf. Um, I'm not going to go over everything, but you can just look and see yourself. I need to rewatch the Star Wars movies, but then they one coming out soon. So you got some more seasons there, and then behind all that, some Simpsons seasons. Got some more stuff down there. Um, this little bin here is the only unorganized part right now. I just need to go through that. Okay, over here we've got um, the regular DVDs. Um, again, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll kind of scan through it and you can look for yourself. Some of these we've had for years and years. And some of them, and some of them aren't even mine either. Just if you're curious, you can pause. Okay. Um, there's that. There's a just a subwoofer there. Um, I'm working on digitizing some VHS tapes. That's what that box is for. Um, here is my latest edition of the game room and my favorite part for sure. This is a Back to the Future poster. Full sized. Um, that is my favorite movie of all time. Love it. Um, love the whole series but the first one's of course my favorite. So I have that frame there where everyone can see it. So It's definitely my favorite poster like I said. And finally my dad's favorite movie The Godfather. Which I've never seen, actually. I know, I know. Complain in the comments. I've never seen it. Get over it. Um, I need to have watched that sometime, but just never have. Um, here's a here's the arcade cabinet that I bought a couple years ago. Still working great. Um, I still play it every now and then. Guests love it too. So, yep, it's a favorite for sure. Uh, mini fridge here and a treadmill. I also got a poster I need to hang. I think I was going to get a new frame for that, which is why it's not hung at the moment. I also, I also got some other posters I need to hang, but I just haven't got around to doing that yet. I'm on this coffee table in the middle. We've got some bins. Um, the first bin here is Atari 2600 stuff. The second bin. It's just more miscellaneous stuff. We've got um, some player's guides here. We've got Nintendo Power, which um, pretty soon, um, maybe in the next week or so, I'm going to actually frame those. Um, I, I found online some cool magazine frame float posters, what they call them. So I'm going to frame those sometime. So I thought that'd be look really cool. And then you can see I got some DR pads, remotes, etc. And finally, I've got the Wii and Wii U stuff, including the games. Okay, so now let's go to the game bin or the game shelf. Sorry, that I was talking about. Um, forgot to show that off that poster there. I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, I've got my DS boxes. I've um, got my Atari 2600 games. You've seen this before. And we got my Game Boy collection. And this is new. This is how I keep my Game Boy games now. And before I just had them in a Ziploc bag. But I figured out a way to store them. And that's using these little card file things. So that we can flip through and get what you want. I may say I got some room for expansion as well. Um, down here we've got a clapperboard for decoration. Um, Wii U. Blu-ray player, original Wii, because as you'll see in a minute, I don't have anywhere else to put it. 
um, the place that it was, and you'll see in a minute, has been taken by something else. So, um, Virtual Boy there. Um, and then I, I was trying to work on the Virtual Boy repairs, and I stripped some of the screws. And thank goodness I was able to drill them out, but it did mess up the plastic a little bit, so I had to buy a replacement head cover. I just haven't replaced it yet. I'm kind of kind of nervous to be honest be ha being how delicate it is so one of these days I'll get the courage to do that but anyway uh, next we got Virtual Boy Games I'm including Mario's Tennis which you can't see here it's actually in the console I've got 14 out of the or 13 sorry out of the 14 games they've released for in North America so um, and I may Bite the bullet and get Jack Brothers, the Japanese version, sometime just because it's really, really expensive in America. So I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get that, to be honest. But maybe it's like a graduation gift or something. But um, here's my N64 games. Um, I make in labels for them, but I've somehow misplaced my label maker. So that's why some of them are standing up. I next we got my Dreamcast, GameCube, and the newest addition to the console family. Um, this is an original PlayStation. Um, my PlayStation 2 that I had, it still works technically, although it's on its last leg. But um, anyway, I traded off my game collection for it and decided to get this instead. And the reason for that is because I didn't really play PlayStation 2. Um, after the Dreamcast era, I really dropped, my interest in non-Nintendo consoles really dropped. So I don't, I'm not really interested in PlayStation 2. But and I really just used it to play original games anyway, so I decided to get this for it. Make it more original. I'm in this drawer here I've got I guess um PlayStation through Dreamcast stuff. Or through GameCube I guess. Is in here. It's cool, this is a sealed virtual boy headphones. Yep. Okay, um, this is a, the TV itself is a, um, I believe 52 inch JVC rear projection TV, very nice. TV, um, for those of you wondering why I use a flat screen, it's because it's just more convenient to have one TV versus two area, one, compu one game area versus two, and to be honest, I really don't mind it. I know some of you... Some of you want to throw up at the thought of playing old games on a TV like this, but I really don't mind personally. I've never been picky about that kind of thing. So, you know, as long as it's playable and as long as it's convenient for me, which it is, I don't mind it. So, yep, there's that. Um, I got my Wii Remotes charging there, gamepad. Um, here's my N64 with Mario 64 in there. Here's my Atari 2600. And, um, by the way, it's worth noting that when I first started collecting games, um, these shelves, or, yeah, when I first started collecting games, these shelves were used for toys instead of games because we, we've had this shelf a long time. We used to store toys on here when me and my sister were younger. And so when I started collecting games for the first time, there was a tiny, like, 12 inch TV on this stand and all I had was the GameCube and the Super Nintendo and that was all I had so it's just kind of worth noting I wish I had a picture of that I if I do I'll I may show it off sometime but yep it's just kind of kind of cool to think of how far I've come in the last 10 12 years or so yep I've come a long way for sure um anyway the left half of the shelf here we've got Wii games Wii and Wii U games. Um, we've got GameCube games. We've also got Dreamcast, Focus, and PlayStation games as well. Um, we've got um, albums of DVDs, either home movies or stuff I've recorded off TV. And um, we've got a eight-way switcher here for all my consoles. And I've got exactly eight, so if I ever get more, I'll have to get another one. But um, we got the cable box there. I'm a VCR that I use as a pass-through for the Atari 2600. 
and finally a DVD recorder. Um, down here we got my NES game, Super NES, Super NES itself, and NES. Um, yep, so those are the only two things over here now, now that I've gotten rid of the PlayStation 2. And finally in this drawer we've got pretty much anything past the Charge 2600 but before PlayStation. Let's see, you've got the, this is like a Famicom plug and play thing. I it's kind of an odd wear. I need to make a video of this. Enough. Got my Game Game Boy manuals. Um, full controller, zapper, NES stuff, all that. I've also got extension cables in there because my couch is quite a bit away. Quite a bit of ways away from all these games, so I have to have extension cables for everything. But um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to make these every three to four months or so and um, yeah um, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates on stuff and um, I don't want to say that the the computer build video will be my next video because that's still a month away but it might be just depending on how things go you know the holidays are kind of busy with visiting family and all that so I may make a video between now and then, but if not, expect the video of me building that about the first of the year, so. And, um, I'll, you know, I'll probably make a Happy New Year video as always, so, yeah, there will be that for sure. But, anyway, um, just follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.